Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting here in the studio uh, about to record uh, the legendary Mr. Marcus Belgrave. He's trying to catch his breath. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all the home players we had in the studio just the other day uh, was either taught uh, or heavily influenced by this man here. Oh, yeah. And it's truly an honor to be here in Paul. This is the man. <laughs> what do you think about that, Paul? <laughs> your your, your uh, studio has been graced by some legendary people. Oh, I mean, yeah, legendary. I if Paul is here, I'm going to have to come over and do something. That sounds good to me. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. we're about to uh, record Marcus on the track that his lovely wife just did and uh, uh, I think it's just a fitting pair to be together again uh, uh, immortalizing making this historical uh, recording of Detroit City is coming back and boy, I just heard Joan Crawford on that oh yeah boy, boy, I haven't heard Joan in ages <laughs> yeah, yeah so all right. Okay, Detroit. So who were the warm players you talking about? Well, uh, we, we had um, uh, Don White. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we had uh, James Lewis. We had really? uh, Alonzo. Uh, we also had, uh, oh my goodness, I'm missing names. Greg Eddie Mathis. Eddie Taylor. Eddie Taylor. He, he calls you straight out Godfather. Yeah, well, you know, him and Don was a... Uh, the first two guys that came to me mm -hmm. in 1970, 1971. Really? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, helped me put that big band together. Yeah. Yeah. Man. And we had some of all of these guys. I, I recall when uh, I saw Marcus down at the Black Horse. Mm. And Marcus said they had a program going on at Metro, uh, Metropolitan Arts oh. and he needed some players. Right. So uh, exactly. yeah. I I pull all the guys pull together. All the guys together. Mm -hmm. and and that was the that was the first group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In 1970. Mm -hmm. Eddie then didn't come. No, Eddie didn't didn't come until 1973. Okay.